So last week I received an email from uh, Atlassian and the email which I'm reading right now, it says, please note upcoming entity limits for Jira apps. And uh, these limits are going to be in place from February 2026. So I basically, you know, went through this email and also the post. So there will be a limit on the number of fields that you can have per project and also the number of work types per project. So initially I was a bit uh, worried about these limits and then I thought, okay, let me just go through the post and then uh, I was a bit relieved. And I thought, well, of course, now I'll, I'll just share it with all of you. Now, the limit that will be there starting from February 2026 will be on the fields that you can have in your project and the limit is 700 fields per project. So basically, if you have more than 700 fields in your project, nothing will happen. I mean, it says here that your site's performance may be affected. So I think these limits are not really like hard limits, I guess. You can still have more more than 700 fields in your project, but uh, the recommended number is to keep it below 700. And talking about work types, it says maximum 150 work types per project. So these are, I believe, the limits. And uh, uh, so there are two things. It says uh, the limits for fields and work types is 700 fields per project and 150 work types. But there is also something which is separate. It says guardrails. So I think these limits are there for real. So you cannot have more than 700 fields and 150 work types. But the guardrail is just some, I guess, uh, guidance. And uh, it says you you should keep your uh, work items or number of issues within 18 million work items per site. So 18 million, to be honest, per site, mm, it is enough. I mean, I've seen really big Jira instances, but uh, uh, the instances usually that, that I have seen, they are like, you know, 1 million, 2 million, uh, like I'm talking about like big projects, but I think 18 million is 